For the past couple of weeks I've been testing out this. It's the Antelope Audio Discrete 8 and besides being really top quality with its 8 amazing discrete preamps, beautiful manufacturing and very sexy looking finish, it's actually quite a useful tool. If you've seen some of my other videos you'll know I've been using the Focusrite 18i8 recently for these videos which I really like but it does have some drawbacks. In the studio itself I generally use my UAD Apollo, I've spent a fortune on effects for it so that's going nowhere. I've bought 50 effects in total and I didn't realise um, quite how many I had until now looking at this. But it's pretty much hardwired into the rack in the studio, there's so many wires and cables around the back of that, that's not coming out if I, if I want to record something outside the studio. I bought the Focusrite 2i2, one synth, one voice, which was great until I realised it was a complete waste of money after a couple of weeks and that's when I went up and bought the 18i8, which is four mic pre's plus four line inputs, which I thought would be fine until I really realised that um, I do need the compressors and if you've ever recorded drums or a trombone you'll know what I mean. So I've got this Droma DL241 which gives me two lines of compression and in the rack I also have the Alicia Expressor but again that's not coming out the rack just like the UAD it's pretty much hardwired in but it's all beginning to be a bit of a pain so I've loaned this to take a look at because a bit like the UAD Apollo units it's got onboard effects with pretty much zero latency or nothing that I've noticed and it comes with quite a few bundle effects as well and just to test the latency what I've done is we'll just mute this track here I've just put a simple 909 pattern in Logic and I've recorded that back into itself. So let's just take a look at that. That's just the original beat and then I'll bring in the loopback beat. And I've used this precision timer line from Eventide to measure the delay that I've got there. And I've got it down to 0 0.27 milliseconds, which is rather short. If I take this off, very, very slightly phasey on its own with the loop back. Let's try that with this timer line put on. So on its own and with the loop back. So yeah, 0 0.27 milliseconds, which is quite fast. Um, and I have also tried it, putting it through some effects. So here we go. I'll just turn the timer line off for a second. So simple beat, then with effects. What effects have I got going on there? I have got um, these three. Let's go in and take a look. I've got the 1176 replica, pool tech, and a guitar amp as well. So just trying to align that anymore. I'll just show you what was, it doesn't really work with this because it is different anyway, but um, that's about 0.47 milliseconds. I'll just play with this, see what difference it makes. So you can hear there at three milliseconds, it's it's completely out. Back to one and a half. Then under one. So anywhere around here seems fine. Because obviously the beat's a bit smeared now, having been through the compressors and stuff. But if it's that, if it's that close, it doesn't really make any difference, does it? All you're doing is slightly changing the tone of things. You're not really, you're not really changing anything drastically. So about 0.4, but put it back on the 0.2 again, as it was without any effects. So listen to that. 
<laughs> not a lot in it, is there? So, um, as far as round trip latency is concerned, brilliant. I'll just try that again with a simple beat. That 0.27 milliseconds. And all it's doing is adding volume there. There's no sort of change in tone, is there? So I'd say that was pretty quick. This comes with, uh, I think it's 36 real-time effects, it says up here. Uh, and at the minute, there's a, there's a deal on to get there, sort of the Neve and British sounding compressors and EQs worth $1,000 for the discrete eight or the discrete four. If we just take a look at the plugins that you get with it, so here's the 36 included effects. You've got a whole range of compressors, equalizers, preamps. Um, it comes with a reverb as well, the Aura Verb. It's really good for tracking. And a lot of guitar amps, and it's got um, cabinets as well. All based on real hardware, which is probably not too hard to guess what they are. So here's some of the, the cabinets. And you can expand the library, you can you can buy extra. There's auto-tune for 250 euros, 249 euro. And then for around 55 euro, there's a few pedals and then extra compressors you can buy. 74 euro, 145 for the for the SSL style bus compressor, Fairchild emulation, and obviously what's a distressor there as well. But they're all you know, they're not bad value these at 95, 75, 95, 75. When you compare that to sort of UAD, let's go into UAD. Now UAD are a lot more expensive generally, so their distressor is normally 229, but they've got a they've got a sale on at the minute, so it's only 114, 114 for only. You know, and this one here is oh, where's it gone? And this one here is always 95. Whether they have sales on, I'm not sure, but they do have some sort of deals on every now and then. Then we come down to the EQs again, 95, 55, 55, 95. So Pretty good value when you compare it against the UAD or buying them off, say, Plugin Alliance. Although, obviously, Plugin Alliance do have their subscription model now. But if you want to use the effects in your door, you have to buy this for €195 Euro on top, which is AFX to door. And this only works if you're using Thunderbolt, not USB. So, as far as plugins are concerned, its main competitor would say be the UAD. The UAD is more expensive, but it's got a greater selection. It's got reverbs and stuff that this doesn't have. But again, you know, pretty expensive, 260 euro for that lexicon. Well, it's down to 130 now. But I have obviously been tempted by these in the past because I, uh, I own a few of them. Well, I own half of them. Let's take a look at the control panel. We've got uh, monitor sections, there's monitor one, headphones one, headphones two, and monitor two. So you can set up different mixes for each of these, as you can see here. At the minute, I've got my voice coming into preamp six. And I've got the Tempest set up into preamp seven and eight. Just play that. And that's going through that reverb uh, I mentioned earlier, I think. So this reverb's a really nice reverb, actually. And it's a shame you can't record it internally because it's sort of nicer than just a sort of standard tracking reverb. But let's just play with the preamps and let's put some of the effects on first. So turn that off. Maybe more live sounding drum kit. Let's load one of them in. So let's just take everything off and let's see what we've got. Okay, um, let's just start messing around with the effects.
so you can go from subtle to pure destructive. You know, all the things you'd expect to be able to do. Let's see if I can put some reverb on my vocals. So this aura verb is a really, really excellent reverb actually, but it's only for tracking and sort of um, live monitoring. So I can't record it back into itself, which is a real shame that there's, it's not got a separate output for this. So you could root it internally because I've tried a few ways bringing out the sort of headphones to mix and then bringing it back into a couple of channels, but it gets a bit phasey and weird sounding. So it's, it's not really doing it much justice, but it's a, for tracking and live performance, it's, it's fabulous actually. Um, but just such a shame you can't bring it back in. As I say, I've spent ages trying to work out a way of doing it, but nothing really very satisfactory, as I say, without without hooking the whole thing up to another computer, which seems to sort of defeat the object. But it is really good for those purposes, not for recording. It really is like having a sort of a mini mixing desk in your computer. Um, I'm really impressed by it. I know Apollo are now doing Luna, which is a similar sort of thing, isn't it? That's free to download and use, but you do need to pay for any of the additional synths and stuff. And like the AFX to door with this, it's Thunderbolt only. So nothing that's worthwhile <laughs> comes cheap in this game, does it? But I've been using this now for the past couple of weeks and all the stuff I did on my virtual Moogfest videos and all my little acid jams and stuff, everything's been going through this and I've, I've, I've really, really enjoyed using it actually. So please subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like to become a patron of the channel, go over to my Patreon page. So, see you next time.